What's up, Warlord Squad? My name is Anime Warlord, and welcome back to the channel. I know I'm a little bit late to the party. That's because I have been really busy with other projects on my channel. Like, for example, me showing you guys my whole entire anime collection. I'm still going to do that project, you guys. You know, I'm still I'm working on future episodes. But the main reason why I said I'm a little bit late to the party is because I remember that I said, I believe in part one of me showing my anime collection, that... The Halloween special is going to be coming out on Halloween. But you know, things just happen. So, for a late Halloween treat for you guys, because I'm still in that Halloween spirity mood, welcome to my next Halloween special. Late Halloween special, I should say. <laughs> so, you guys are probably wondering, what was the manga review choice for this year's Halloween special? Was it Elfin Lead? Was it The Town of Pigs? No. It wasn't either of those. The reason why, it's because I haven't gotten a chance to read those yet. But, I have gotten the chance to read the first volume, and I still need to read the other three. And that is the one, the only, Chainsaw Man. Let's get on with it. <laughs> Now, I've only seen the anime to Chainsaw Man, and I've only read the first volume of the manga. I still have to read the other two, but I got the first volume done just in time for me to do my manga review of Chainsaw Man. And I gotta say, the manga is just absolutely fantastic. And as you guys already have guessed from my previous events that I went to throughout this year... Everybody was cosplaying a certain character from Chainsaw Man. This was the most popular cosplay in 2023 because it makes sense because the anime just made its big debut in 2022. And I said, I know next year I'm going to see a hell of a lot of Chainsaw Man cosplayers. And I did. And you know, tell me with this review, I brought on a little friend. One second. Yep, there's my little guest. Pochita himself. You're a good boy. You're a good devil. So... What is the plot to Chainsaw Man? Well, here it is. Denji is a poor young man who will do anything for money, even hunting down devils with his pet devil Pochita. He is a simple man with simple dreams, drowning under a mountain of debt. But his sad life gets turned upside down when he is betrayed by someone he trusts. Now, with the powers of a devil inside him, Denji becomes a whole new man. Chainsaw Man! And as you saw in my Anime Central haul, I only have gotten the first three volumes because I wanted to check out the manga because I really enjoyed the anime. And I finally got around to be reading the manga. I only read the first volume. I still need to read these two. But I can tell you this, you guys. The manga is absolutely fan-fucking-tastic. The action scenes in this manga are just basically chef's kiss beautiful. They are that well made. And you can't help but get excited whenever you just turn each page and you're just basically seeing a whole lot of carnage unfold and you're just like wow this is something else man and I know some people out there would say you know a lot of violence in anime has like been really toned down as of late but no this right here goes all out this right here goes all out with the violence the blood the gore and it's just beautiful it is just absolutely beautiful I'm gonna show you some examples when I turn the page like look at this boom boom Boom! For the umpteenth time, boom. Now, I respect all opinions whenever it comes to anime and manga, but if those action scenes don't get you hype, I don't know what the hell will, because those action scenes are very well detailed. The fights are very well choreographed. Oh, it's beautiful. Review of the characters. Denji is a lot like Issei Hyodo, because if you know, then you know. If you read more deeper into Chainsaw Man and you just continue down the line of watching Chainsaw Man the anime, Denji and Issei kind of have a little bit similar personalities to one another. Because Denji wants to touch boobs, Issei wants to touch boobs. Oh my god, this is basically High School DxD, but except instead of boobs, there's a lot of blood. Makima. Now, everybody out there in the anime community loves Makima. 
And I remember when I was at Anime Central, I saw a whole lot of Makima and Denji cosplayers, no surprise there. And I remember one particular cosplayer that I saw at Anime Central that had a Makima cosplay on, and she had the sign, Bark For Me, and I'm just like, oh my god. She got Makima's personality down to a fucking T. But then again, it's no surprise that the anime community likes psychopathic chicks, including myself. You know Gasai is like one of my favorite examples of a psychopath. Now, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but I'm gonna say this. Makima is also extremely powerful, and you do not want to piss her off. Off. You truly do not want to piss her off. Now, I know a lot of people out there give their love towards Makima. Hell, she has the most amount of favorites. If you go onto the website Mal or My Anime List, she is the highest rated favorited character on that website for Chainsaw Man characters. And I feel like this character, who I'm about to talk about next, is very underrated, and she's personally my favorite, and in my opinion, she's best girl. <laughs> and that is none other than power now power may not be as psycho as makima but she can still pack a serious wallop she can turn her own blood into weapons she can turn her own blood into a fucking mallet and when she releases all of her power no pun intended she goes absolutely insane with it the moment she smells blood she's like the tasmanian devil in looney tunes fame i mean holy crap she can pack a serious wallop like, look at that. She's sniffing. I smell blood. Yep. There she goes. Turning her blood into friggin' weapons. There's the iconic mallet. Wow. Yep, and there she goes. Wham! Again, she's ultra fast and like the Tasmanian devil. Heck, you could even describe her as like a kid in the candy store when she smells blood. And when I saw Power turn her own blood into weapons, I just basically said, hmm, wait a second. Turning your own blood into weapons, huh? This mangaka probably got some inspiration from Dead Man Wonderland. I don't know if that's his actual influence, but my god, like, it's it's there. It's as clear as day that he got his reference from Dead Man Wonderland. I, I hope I'm right, because Dead Man Wonderland is yet another one of my favorite animes, and a manga that I still need to continue, because I want to know who the hell is this mysterious red man. I don't know who it is. Now, not only is the action in this manga balls to the walls awesome, but some scenes in here can be super duper painful. Like this scene, for example. I remember this scene in the anime where Denji was constantly kicking Aki in the friggin' balls. Ouch. <laughs> you ain't gonna have kids anymore there, Aki. Mm -mm -mm. Or this scene where the bat devil is crushing Denji so he can eat his blood. Whew. Yeah, that is absolutely painful. These painful scenes are so well drawn and you just can't help but feel a little bit of pain yourself. That's how well detailed these panels are. Now, I hear people talk about how violent Chainsaw Man is, how gory it is, and how the action scenes are absolutely certified bangers, but I do not hear people talking about the humor. So I'm going to talk about the humor for a little bit before we conclude this review. Some moments in this manga can be damn funny, and some moments in the anime can be damn funny too. Like, for example, when Aki and Denji return to Makima, he just basically says, Oh, a testicle devil attacked his balls. <laughs> oh my god, like, I reached comedy nirvana when I read that. I could not stop laughing. I had to take a break from reading the first volume after just reading that line. I'm not sure if he said that in the anime, but damn, that is really, really funny. Chainsaw Man is an absolute wild ride in all of the right ways. It has a lot of action, a lot of gore, great characters, scenes that will just basically leave you on the edge of your seat, and so much more under the surface. Because there's a whole lot more to Chainsaw Man than meets the eye. If you have a friend in your friend group who is curious about the world of anime and manga and they don't know where to start, have them start with Chainsaw Man. It will make their eyes pop right out of their skulls. Now, I'm not too sure when season two of Chainsaw Man is coming out, but I can tell you this. I am so 
goddamn ready for it because I really enjoyed the first season. Fingers crossed that it comes out next year in 2024. The first volume of Chainsaw Man was absolutely awesome. I cannot wait to read the other two and I cannot wait to pick up more volumes of Chainsaw Man along the way because this manga has earned a spot as one of my personal favorite stories. And when you finally watch or read Chainsaw Man, I can guarantee you this, you guys. It'll be a total slice, no pun intended, of pure awesomeness. So, that concludes my late Halloween special manga review of Chainsaw Man. Once again, I do apologize that the Halloween special was late, but hey, you know what they say. Better late than ever, am I right? Big shout out to Pochita for joining me on this wonderful review. Thanks so much for joining me. And this just about wraps things up for today's video, you guys. If you guys like today's video, give it a like. If you guys have anything to say about today's video, give it a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell for future nerdy videos when they come out. You guys already know who I am. I'm Anime Warlord. Stay nerdy. Stay safe out there. Have a great day. Have a great evening, whatever your time zone may be. And always remember to take care of yourselves. And I'll see you guys again in the next video. Peace out.